Yep, hello there. My name is Emma. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. I probably look all wrong. Um, yeah, it's time for breakfast again. This is my new favorite video. But it's probably just a period. Then all of a sudden I don't make one of these videos for a month after this. <laughs> no. Anyone who thinks that, oh, you're still doing that video and that video and that video, like... The plan in my head is that I haven't really stopped, I just haven't felt inspired to do those kind of videos. It doesn't mean that I have stopped with it completely, okay? I'm just... My channel is to upload stuff that I am in the mood for. And right now I'm in the mood to record this. To have a big breakfast, okay? If I don't record what I eat, I wouldn't have been eating this much, okay? <laughs> so I feel like making a video is an excuse to eat a little bit more food. Uh, but yeah, what am I going to have a toast with uh, this uh, garlic cream cheese. And I'm going to have this yogurt that I've never tasted before. With some seeds on top and then a coffee. Oh, like my thumb hurts, okay? I don't remember what they are called in English, but in Swedish if I'm going to... Yeah, in Swedish they are called... It's a fruit. They are called... Uh, cactus fikon and if I would translate that straight to English that is cactus figs but I don't think it was called that in English because I googled it a little bit this morning but I just don't remember what it was called in English okay um, yeah I take a lot but yeah uh, I was cutting one of those up this morning I bought that for the first time ever earlier um, this week and uh, yeah when I was uh, I had no problem cutting one up earlier this week but today I, I guess I put ugh, they have a bunch of needles on them and apparently I got a bunch in my thumb okay and I still feel it mm. it's annoying Let's make coffee. Lot of sugar. I'm gonna take a shower after this. Maybe not right after this. Yeah, I'm so it's yeah, it's morning now, obviously, since I'm eating breakfast. Um, 
But yeah, I have been out and about a little bit today um, already and I have put these clothes on. I don't feel like taking it, taking it off just yet. So but yeah, if I look a little bit slimy in my hair. Unnecessary information. I don't know what else to say. Maybe the background is a little bit more messy today. But yeah, that is how it is when you have a kid, okay. Like, damn it, it's so annoying. It feels like you're getting... I don't know. Like, small electrocutions thingy dingy or that someone randomly is putting a needle in my finger. <laughs> Like garlic and coffee, like this is not the best combination to be honest. <laughs> or garlic and herbs, okay? But you know, I want a varied thing, okay? I don't want to have cheese and ham on my cha sandwich. Every like I. I wanna vary it a little, little bit in these mm, breakfast mukbangs, I guess, okay? I don't wanna eat the same thing every time. Mm, so yeah, that is why I picked that. And I think it's pretty good. Like, I bought it on a special price. I don't have a thing for... Um, uh, cream cheese uh, otherwise to be honest okay I'm not like I'm not crazy about it okay? um, I got it on a special price but I think it's alright but now actually but yeah now with coffee and stuff like that I don't think that that f for me that did not it was not a great combination but yeah here we have this yogurt that I bought with a special price um and it has not even expired yet and I uh, bought it a few days ago. But yeah, I've never tasted this one before. I don't even... What a creamy yogurt, raspberry, no added flavors. How great. Let's see if it's good. And I bought it from Lidl, okay, here in Sweden. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. Yeah, it's focusing a bit now, isn't it? But yeah, I'm gonna put these seeds on. In Swedish they are called uh, linfra. I don't know what they are called in English. Is it, or they call it flax seed, flock seeds? I don't know, okay, but if you, if you know seeds, you feel me? Um... I guess you know yourself what kind of seed that is. But, you know, they have like a lot of fibers in them. Stuff like that is healthy. So if I'm eating any kind of yogurt or whatever, I like to add some. Not too many though. Maybe I could have added more, but this is kind of the amount that I usually add. Okay. Oh. 
Do I want to mix this together? Yeah, I'm gonna... Wait. Yeah, <laughs> let's taste. It's actually pretty good. It al almost tastes too sweet. So if you're not into sweet stuff, I guess don't buy this. But. Um, I feel like it's a good creamy taste, like a rich taste to it, which I like. Like it tastes a bit fatty or whatever. <laughs> but I do have to say, it tastes a little bit um, on the sweeter side. Like um, it doesn't taste like fresh sweet or whatever, fruity sweet. It almost tastes like sugary sweet, you feel me? Mm. Yeah, sugar is the third ingredient, so maybe not the most healthy odor. Yeah, my new phone has still not arrived. Uh, in the last uh, uh, mukbang that I recorded, you could not, uh, I could not really see the crack, and there's cracks on the front here also. But yeah, my new phone has still not arrived. I am very disappointed, okay. Usually I feel like um, you get packages pretty quickly, like if it's sent from your own country or whatever. Even from other countries sometimes. But you feel me, if, if you live in Sweden if, and you shop at regular websites, okay, and it says that your package has been shipped, I feel like it usually takes one or two Max three days usually for the package to arrive, but here I am and it has been Three or four days now. Mm. I think since I got the notification that uh, They have sent the package. Okay But yeah, it actually said three to four days that it would take that. But I just didn't believe it because I have gotten stuff from that com uh, company um, before. And it has always gone faster, you feel me? So yeah, it's too early to complain, okay. Mm.
The yogurt is a little bit sour in some way, like, I don't know, okay. buy that again <laughs> uh, no not unless if it's like on sale or something or maybe I won't buy it again like it was good but uh, at the same time I didn't love it like it was rich and filling in one way but then it had this weird sour flavor it just I don't know, and then it tasted a little bit too sweet for my taste, at least for breakfast or whatever. No, maybe I won't. Maybe I will buy it again if I see it on sale again. Because then maybe I will have forgotten. Maybe I, then I would think that, oh, maybe it wasn't that bad actually, okay? I'm going to buy it again, it's on sale. But the feeling that I'm having in my mouth, like, I don't love I don't love it. Or maybe I'm starting to get full. Okay. Ah. Ah. I don't know. Maybe this just wasn't a good combination of food for breakfast. Because I even... I have eaten a few toasts now. The last maybe one or two weeks. With this spread on. And I have... Most of the times I have enjoyed it. But today I felt like it tasted... Uh, I did not like the taste, but I think it was the combination of this. Maybe this, these two were not a good combination either, which is why I didn't enjoy this a 100%. But the coffee, for some reason, tastes good. Okay, okay, this one I'm, I am enjoying as usual. After this, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna sit on my couch and look at my phone, and then do some Duolingo lessons. Du Duolingo, maybe. I don't know. Learn some languages. I'm learning a bunch of languages at the same time. I don't think it's good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. As of right now, lately, like the last couple of weeks, I have mostly been um, uh, learning uh, German and Norwegian and a little bit of Greek, but not. I haven't even started the course really. I'm still, because there's another thing you can, uh, when you learn Greek, there's a part where you can practice on the letters because... Um, Greece has different letters or whatever. Uh, so that is what I have been practicing a bit lately. But I haven't actually started the course, okay? Really. Or kind of. Mm. But yeah, I think those are the three. But yeah, mostly Norwegian and uh, German lately. And maybe before that it was Italian and Spanish. But the other uh, languages that I have put on my Duolingo app that I have tried out a little bit, I haven't tried them out in forever, which is Polish. That is the hardest language that I have tried out so far, okay? I have already given up, okay? Hopefully I will get back into try to learning it soon, but as of right now, every time I open the Polish lessons, I uh, just feel lost, okay? So that one is the hardest one so far. But I would have liked to learn Polish because uh, uh, traveling from Sweden 
to Poland, it's very cheap, okay? Uh, so, I mean, if I had the money to travel, I think Poland would be a country that I would maybe visit. Would be one of the first countries that I would visit because it's so cheap to go there. And it would be fun to know some words, okay? But so far, I feel like it's the most difficult one. Mm. And then French, I have not uh, done a lesson in uh, quite some time. I think French is also difficult, but uh, <coughs> maybe a little bit easier than Polish, okay? Uh, and then what else do I have? I have Turkish. I have been start, uh, doing many Turkish lessons in the past, but... The last couple of months I have not done any Turkish lessons really and I think I have forgotten a lot. But it's also a hard language but uh, uh, yeah, I have just not looked into that uh, lately. But I still remember a lot of words in Turkish but as of right now I cannot come up with a full sentence in Turkish at all. Okay, But Turkish is still my third, third or second most... Uh, uh, language on my Duolingo app that I have um, practiced the most but, I, but it was such a long time ago now I, I don't uh, mm. I think I have forgotten a lot but I think if I got back to trying to learn Turkish again it would a lot of stuff would come back to me okay but I remember getting stuck a lot with the Turkish like um, it's pretty difficult they have a lot of long words I feel like okay and they like put the sentences backwards, you feel me? Words that we would put in the beginning of the sentence, they would put at the end. You feel me? A little bit like that, okay? What other languages do I have? Uh, I don't know. The most learned languages I have on my Duolingo app is Spanish actually. But I ha just haven't been practicing that lately. But Spanish is the thing that I have been learning the most. I feel like I have more languages than that, but I cannot come up with it right now. And it's time for me to end this video, okay? Because I have finished my breakfast. I hope you who watched this video enjoyed it. In that case, leave a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My name is the same there. Emsma. Oi. And subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out when I upload any new videos. I hope you all are having a lovely, lovely day. See you next time. Bye bye.